Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, let's see. 478 episodes of the Sports Podcast. Raheem here, and I hope you all are happy and in good health. Today we are going to talk about the Pope Francis and Southwick Rams matchup, a recap of college football, national championship game, and scores from the NBA and NHL. First, we're going to start with some news. Number five, Pope Francis Lady Cardinals started the game with a 20 0 run, and Southwick tried to get back in it down 38 18 at the half. But the slow start was the curse that stuck in the Rams' side. Pope Francis wins 54 41. They improved to 7 0. Georgia Bulldogs bulldoze their, their way to a second straight college football title. They beat TCU 65 7. Um. Schools like TCU should not have gotten to the college football um, national championship. And that's all I'm going to say. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about as far as competition standpoints. Whatever whatever point you got. This is why when they're supposed to be gay, this is supposed to be a good game. This is why schools like that shouldn't make it. 11-0, they, they, they did good. And their kicker saved them a couple of times um, throughout the season. But... The national championship, you're going to lay an egg in front of everyone like that? That's, that's not cool. Not an egg because they scored a touchdown, but literally, I mean, uh, Georgia scored 65 points, like, you might as well. <laughs> Georgia Bulldogs star defensive lineman Jalen Carter declares eligible for the 2023 NFL Draft. I'm just getting started on him as far as film watching. Um... As concerned, as you know, I look at the college football players, each and every one that um, declares eligible for the NFL draft, and I place them based on, um, you know, it's a mock draft, the mock draft formula based on where I think they would fit best, um, where other guys are saying they're going to think, where other guys are saying that they're going to go, and um, different um, other methods of criteria, which um, is going to start pretty soon. Um, so, I haven't had looked at him from the perspective that I normally would, a prospect, but I feel this guy is going to be a top five pick. Um, he has injury concerns from this year, though, um, and that's just watching Georgia on football, on watching Georgia games um, this year. Um, I actually had the access to um, basically to watch any college football game I want to with a, a certain website. We'll be quiet on that one, though. Um, if you want to know, actually, you can just inquire within, and I'll let you know. But just, I just don't want to say it on here. Um, but yeah, anyway, Jalen Carter is most likely going to go number one overall to the Bears. Um, I think you start your rebuild that way. You know, it's worked for plenty of franchises um, that we've seen in the NFL. Um, the Texans grabbing J.J. Watt. Um, the Detroit Lions grabbing Aiden Hutchinson in the year he's had this year, um, and usually that's 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 what you do. You start your defense off with a guy like that. Um, Giants added Kayvon Thibodeau. He get, kind of got hurt this year, but um, his ceiling is just something that any of us can't see. Um, so I like stuff like that. I I, um, I think this guy is. Going to go first overall. I think Chicago's going to try to rebuild something. Um, one thing I think, though, uh, that hurt the Bears is uh, letting Roquan Smith go. As you see, he they traded him to Baltimore, and Baltimore just signed him for five years, a um, hundred million dollars, something like that. So one second, I'm I'm recording. I'm gonna call you right back. But you should watch this episode because you'll see me talk to you. All right? I'll talk to you in a second. Anyway, yeah. So, <laughs> um, Georgia Bulldogs, Jalen Carter, I think he goes first. Um, and I think the Chicago Bears are just going to fuck up his career. Because I'm a Packers fan. Fuck the Bears. Um, that's it for the news. Let's talk about some sports now, shall we? Boys High School Basketball, number two. Springfield National Charter over number 14, Paulo, 76 to 59. Ludlow over number 24, McCann Tech, 52-35. Wow. And number seven, Pittsfield over number four, Taconic, 67 to 52. Um, Gateway over Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter, 32 to 30. Number 28, Smith Volk over Pathfinder, 63-57. Number 26, St. Mary over Pine Valley Christian, 60-42. Um, uh, 
Number 16, Mount Everett over Westfield Tech, 52-29. Number 1, Central over number 32, Holyoke, I-81-67. High scoring game there. Uh, number 5, West Side over number 37, Agawam, 57-54. Um, to 54. What a good one. Number 19, Chicopee Comp over East Long Meadow, 71-56. Chicopee over Commerce, 48-43. Number 25, Belchertown over Hampshire, 50-42. Number 40, South Hadley, um, 48. Number 9, Hoosick, 29. South Hadley is now 3-0. Uh, number 6, McCona over Bay State Academy, 62-31. Ouch. Number 17, Granby over number 34, Munson, 61-27. Number 12, Duggan over Hammond Charter East, 75-59. And that's it for the boys' scores. Let's talk girls' West high school basketball now. Um, number 38, Way over Mohawk Trail, 44-22. Turners Falls over number 27, Athol, 40 to 28. 42-28, excuse me. Number 26, Mount Everett over number 10, Franklin Tech, 45-38. Wow. Number 28, Mayhar over number 30, Hopkins, 48-42. Number 15, Palmer over number 11, Alenix, um, excuse me, 47-24. Shout out to Jada Pardo and company. They continue to win. They're, 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 they're stacking them up. They're stacking them up. Uh, number four, East Hampton over Lee, 69 to 31. Um, East Hampton's like 11 and 0 now or something like that. It's, it's crazy. Uh, number 40, Greenfield over number nine, Frontier, 44 to 27. And number five, Pope Francis over number 13, Southwick. Um, they scored 41 points. Um, and that is it for episode 478 of 403 Sports Talk, January 10, 2023. Rahim Muscali. Um, it's always great to talk sports with you, and I thank you all for all your continued support and interaction with the show. Um, we'll see you tomorrow or in a couple days for episode 479, and I can't wait to see you then.